Hello Autobots, Decepticons, and Cybertronians, and other life forms. My name is Sumungi, and with me I have a good friend. Edward Chickahans here. What's up, guys? Oh yeah, we're doing Escalation. escalation. And that's that's what we're doing. That, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> and we're the evil Decepticons. Both scientists. Woohoo! Both of us. Lord Starscream here. Starscream, more of a marksman. Shockwave. A little bit more of an entrepreneur when it comes to building creatures of all sorts and different shapes, different sizes. He's the go-to guy for um, for Autobot or Decepticon plastic surgery. Yeah, he's, he the, is. he's the go-to guy. Except you always end up walking out of there with one huge eye. Just one. Yeah. It's like what? What? Nothing wrong with that. It looks good, doesn't it? Then he just pokes you on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> just a little prod. Just a little. Just a little poke. One eye to rule them all. One eye. So we're going to see what happens here. We haven't played Transformers Fall Cybertron for a long time. Very long time. And we just were like, you know what? Let's throw it on some Escalation. Why not? It could be fun. Why not? You know? Why not? Good why not? Times. I mean, why not? Why not? So you got to say to your girl, why not? Why not? Just keep doing it. Eventually she'll say yes. Eventually. Just keep saying. And remember, no means yes. Remember that. And we're playing on just regular. Yeah. We're just regular average Joes. Just average. I mean, playing on hard just seems like a lot of a lot of work has to go into that. You have to prep yourself and... Really, really stressful. <sighs> but yeah, what goes into your preparation? Well, when I'm prepping for a... It depends, I guess. If I'm prepping for a long haul on Escalation, I like to get a nice massage, a little head rub. Ooh, are you getting one while we play? I could, but I might doze off. I might just fall asleep. That wouldn't be good on the middle of a battlefield. Well, unless you're last stand style. Yeah, then you just, then you want to fall asleep. Oh yeah, that's the best way to go out. Kill me now. Wait, wait, actually wait until I get into a deep sleep, then I won't feel anything. Yeah. Stay here for like 20 <laughs> minutes. Could you sleep if you were like, knew you were gonna never not wake up like that? If somebody was like, alright, I'm gonna let you live, or I'm gonna let you die peacefully, but I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. Go to bed. Could you do it? Could you fall asleep? Like, like right now? Or after I live my, after I live my life? Like, like you're gonna die regardless. It's either a, a painful death, or like you can go to sleep. Oh, I'd go die. to sleep, of course. But uh, but I mean, could you fall asleep though? Like, would you uh, ever be able to fall asleep in that situation? Yeah. Well, eventually you would just your body would just force you to fall asleep, but like probably would take a long time. Yeah, I suppose. There's a box over there if you want to hit that. Hit that box. Ooh! They blessed me with the gears early. Where? 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 I'm missing. It's oh, uh, over at the start right here. The Batlamo leads the way. Yeah, just keep throwing down ammo like crazy. And I got the slime cannon. I'm about ready to go nuts. Ooh, you got slime? Slime. About to get Slimers. Nickelodeon up in this thing. Oh, yeah. Nickelodeon Gak, right? Yeah, some kids, or get the, what is it, kids, kids Choice Awards? Get slime. Oh, yeah. Do you ever see that back in the day though, like where they had that game show and then all of a sudden they just like goo you yeah. <laughs> a bunch of stuff? It's just like the grossest thing ever. You just walking down the street and like they do it to people. <laughs> I, I would not be happy with that. No, I'd be pretty angry. I'd be like, seriously, you know I only have like two sets of clothes. Like I'm on my way ruined. to my job interview and I, I this is my only suit and you just gaffed it. Exactly. And you ever like wonder, it's like, where does that come from? You think it's like a bunch of people just like rubbing the Jolly Green Giant up in the sky and, you know, it just comes out of his yeah, areas, I, orifices? I, 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 wa I want to say that it's a bunch of people that save up their snot rockets and then they just, <laughs> they just send them in somewhere. They add some, some friendlier looking green dye to it and then, uh, and then that's it. Yeah, friendly. There's no blood or like anything else. Wait, I don't know why there'd be blood in a snot rocket. Depends if you're sick what? or not, maybe. It, it, does know. this do something here? Yeah, it unleashes like multiple... Uh, is it Tootsie? It's not Tootsie, it's somebody else. Uh, 
Unleashes multiple of them, like a hundred of them. Wow. Yeah, what are those guys called now? Clutch. Ah, oh, Clutch. A bunch of clutches. Our best friend Clutch. At least my best friend. He was kind of mad at you. You can call him back. Yeah, he, uh, we kind of got into it one night and he's really, uh, he's really needy. He's really needy. He, he is kind of needy. I will give you that. I need, I need me some space. Uh oh, I'm going to die! Maybe. I need to heal you for healing. Oh yeah. The energy on healing. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. Alright, so we should probably like get a move on. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a, the best of places right now. Definitely need to skedaddle out of here. Two shakes of a Grimlock tail or something. Get out. And you know, I never like, like I haven't played this like a ton, a ton. So it's kind of like still kind of like I don't really remember where everything is. It's like yeah. kind of fresh a little bit. But I think that's a bad thing that I don't like. You know, like we never got like a lot of like stuff we wanted, like Dinobot Escalation, and a lot of that was to do with like you know the budget. Yeah. And companies don't have unlimited budgets and whatnot, so it if was they, what it was. If they made a Dinobot Escalation, probably would have had a lot of a lot more longevity. Like, I would have played the crap oh, yeah. out of that. It would have been awesome if you got to save... Oh, um, there's the riot cannon. Let's go this way. Next wave oh, nice. Yeah, it would have been awesome if... Oh, I gotta stop using this. Can you throw ammo down? I need it. I need, to, I need so much with gear shredder. But it would have been awesome if you got to save... Uh... Wow, why can't I think of his name? I, I'm gonna say the wrong one. It's not, sludge? It's not Snarl. Yeah, Sludge. Sludge, yes. Sludge, yeah. Been awesome. That would have been an awesome like little side DLC mission. Yeah. Or at least something to show like what happened. Yeah, instead of just like tying him up in a bunch of gack. You got Nickelodeon. Yeah, you got Kid Choice Award. Kid Choice <laughs> they like Awarded? Them. For the longest neck. You won. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sludge, you win. I wonder if you knew little. What I win? Yeah. Littlefoot from uh, the Dino Land area. Land, what is Land that before called? time. Gosh, my Disney movie is yeah, terrible right now. I know. That's you know what? For you. Not, wasn't a huge fan of that. that really? Movie, though, I'm gonna be honest. No. I Sarah drive me crazy. Uh, with yeah. Now when I go when I go back and and like I one of the movies was on TV the other day. I went back and I was like watching. And I was like, oh yeah, and and her voice just drove me nuts. Just drove me nuts. Oh yeah. But when I was a kid, I used to watch the movie all the time. And to this day, you can't fall asleep without watching it. it to the, I do. I have. I still have a VHS. It's very dear, very dear and close to my heart. That's where you keep your VHS. That's gonna be heavy. You have it like uh, hung like a Mr. T chain. It's yeah. Like VHS. Pretty much. I have to. Uh, but I also have to carry around like a stand with wheels because it's just so heavy that I can't can't lift it. It's, You'd it's be becoming so a buff. problem. <laughs> or you would just have a terrible back problem. Yeah. Next wave begins in All right. Wait, I should know. I like be More flying somewhere three, else? Driving? Two, moving? One. I wish Shockwave could do the change like he does in Transformers Prime too. That would oh, be yeah. epic. Oh, we got a big dude. Wait, do we? Yes. You know what's always funny about this game compared to like other Transformers? Shockwave? He's like a jet and like other Transformers he's supposed to be comparable to like Megatron where it's yeah. in size and he can overthrow him like if you really needed to or if it was logical. If but it was logical. Games, they just, you know, make him a small guy. Yeah. I really like the way that, that Prime is going with it though. Where he's just amazing and he's just awesome. Yeah, Are he you, is pretty sweet in Prime. When when something needs to get done, you, you call on him. You call on Shockwave and it gets done. Yeah, he's a really hard worker. He's like Dwight from The Office. He works real yeah. hard. <laughs> Not at, well, he's smarter. I'll say he's smarter. Dwight has some pretty crazy, wacky ideas that are pretty smart, though. Yeah. Him and his beat farm. 